So as some of you guys know, I took a trip to New York recently to be featured on a billboard in Times Square, and I shot a dope video. Well, at least I thought it was dope. And during the time I was out there, I knew they had a Nike store, so you know I had to stop by and do a little bit of shopping. But at the top of the store, they had a Nike by you, so you know what that means. I had to get some kicks. I recorded some of the process of getting the shoes created, so let's go ahead and hop into the footage real quick, and then I'll kind of narrate it throughout and show you what the shoes looked like at the end of the video. This is a dream I've been waiting for. I was sitting in meetings all the time talking about this back home. They never do it. We come here and we got all the options. So here in Portland, we have like none of these options. It's crazy because I know we're the home of Nike and all those different things. But at the same time, we get no cool opportunities like this. And I always talk about this when I'm in meetings with Nike and Jordan brand on how we should get more things like this into our city. So again, if you're from Portland or around the area in the Northwest, keep telling everybody, keep posting, keep talking about it. We need to raise more awareness because we need to have cool opportunities like this. And it sucks, but at the end of the day, I saw the opportunity to do it in New York and I had to take advantage. This looks like screen prints for different shirts and stuff. Right here, all the different merch you can do. And then it looks like you can do patches on a pair of Air Force Ones as well. So these patches, they got stitch patches. They got look like some vinyl heat press patches. And they got the more vinyls over here with the hang tags, different laces, customs that go in there. Pretty simple process. Definitely a lot of cool options right here. Back home in Portland, it's rough. It's rough for us. So how does this process work? The customization? Yes. Okay, so you can do apparel, so t-shirts, sweatshirts, yep. tote bags, hats. Okay. Specifically only Air Force Ones. Okay, each hit is like a price, I'm assuming? Yeah, each one has a base fee. Okay. Apparel is 15, that comes with one graphic. Mm -hmm. Any additional, they charge by size. Okay. For Air Forces, the base fee is 30. They okay. Comes with two graphics, you can go up to four. Okay. And that's about it. And then you just run retail on the shoe? Mm hmm Okay. I feel like I should do one. I don't know. I mean, these are the hits. I can laser them when I get back home. Yeah. That'd be dope. Um, can you just like tat it up for me, like creatively? Uh, only like a freestyle. Only, only these graphics. Yeah. Only on the heel hits. Yeah, Nowhere else on the shoe though. These are, these are $10. Okay. Okay. I was about to say just put them like all over the shoe, <laughs> just like the front toe box. Put them on the back end. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. So at this point, I'm kind of overwhelmed because there's a lot of different options and we're in a rush. I have somewhere else to be. I haven't even ate yet and there's a lot of other things going on, but either way, we had to get it done. These all have New York based things on there. I feel like we don't need to do something that's OG with the Force logo on there. So we should probably go all New York stuff. What should we put on the outside on the heel? A lot of people put the Brooklyn on. Brooklyn? That phone, that phone is like, people rocking with the Brooklyn on the outside? Okay, yeah. let's rock with the Brooklyn on the outside. Should we do that on both or just switch it up? What you think? Uh, I'll switch it up. Switch yeah, it up? Switch it up. Okay. For sure, for sure, for sure. We got Brooklyn and Harlem on the outsides. Do they do dope. Queens and Bronx on the inside. Yeah, the only thing I don't like what they do with the Bronx, they put D kinda, there. Yeah, that's kind of The Bronx, I know. Yeah, you can cut it off though. Yeah, for sure, yeah. That's what, that's what I do for a lot of people. Yeah, just cut it and just put Bronx. Yeah, yeah, fine. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so, so you and then we'll put this, where should we, can... So we put it on, a lot of people put the pigeon on the inside. On the inside? And then they put the Brooklyn logo on okay. the inside. Okay, so we'll do this with, would it fit with the Bronx? Yeah, for sure. Like if you cut the and switch this? Yeah, you could do that. It'll fit on the inside? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we could do it that way. I think that'll work. Hopefully it works out. We'll see. We gotta show them all the options right here. Did you show them everything down in here? Yeah, I showed them down here. Okay, so we got the lace options. I like the white laces, honestly. <laughs> oh, then we got, do we get one of these keychains too? We gotta get a keychain that goes along with it. Now the keychain is separate. Though. Yeah. You, you get a, yeah, so I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll get a keychain to go along with it though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They got the patches. Hey, this patch is hard. I always like this patch. This one right here. The base cam? Yep, and then you got this one. Yeah, I like that one. That one's clean. Yep. The pigeon one is dope too. Ooh, they got a lot of dope options up in here. Even the prints with the T. Okay, so I gotta get the I gotta get the uh, shoes done 
we're gonna go get something to eat because we gotta make it on time for the billboard at seven. So we gotta still get back to the hotel. We still gotta eat and we gotta be on time. We can't be late. So we'll go Brooklyn. On the right? Um, yeah, we can go Brooklyn on the right. That one probably look good. And then Harlem on here. And then we can do Bronx and Pigeon on this side if it fits. Yeah, it should fit. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh. Boom. Just like that. On the inside. And then on this one, we go Queens. Should we do another little thing with it? Or should we just keep it? What you think? The Queens one is kind of big. The Q is a good size. I think that's good. Yeah, we'll just do the Queens on the inside right here. Yeah. Think that'll be smooth? Yeah, that'll be tough. Man. Okay. Let's see what this one looks like this way though. Yeah, like this? Yeah, it's up to you Yeah, that might be clean. All right, yeah, let's do this on the outside. Outside? Yep. And then the inside? Yep, and then we'll do Brooklyn on this way. Boom. Queens on the inside. Top. Yep, and then that one like that. Gotcha. Perfect. We in there. I had to do it. I've been waiting. I've been coming all this. Oh, wait, I got to make my... TikTok too. So I ended up shooting a couple TikToks and then running downstairs to grab some food. I grabbed a burrito real quick from a spot down the street. Honestly, it wasn't that good, but I was hungry and I needed to eat something. And I ended up getting back upstairs to get the shoes. So let's go ahead and get back to the footage. All right, so we're on the first floor right now. We gotta get back up to the fifth floor. We had to go get something to eat real quick, but the shoes should be done soon or now. I don't know, we'll see. So let's go, go ahead and see what we can find up there. Perfect. Thank you. All right, appreciate it. All right, let's look at these shoes real quick. We gotta hop in the elevator, we're gonna go down the stairs. We can do an elevator. Follow me, guys. I know you can still hear me, but you can't see me, but we got cell laces right here. And then we got the shoes. Oh, we got the shoes. I'll show you guys when we get back home. So as you can see right here, you have your classic Air Force One box. You pay retail for these. I think I got the receipt in here to show you the final price of everything. I think there's taxes and stuff too. So the shoes was $110. Air Force Ones are 110 now? Damn, okay. Uh, <laughs> the custom work is $30. And then I added two extra patches on there and a hang tag. So it was three additional dollars per item. So you had 110, 30, three, three and three the total was 149 dollars taxes nine dollars and 77 cents and additional tax 81 cent for something else i don't know and then that's some new york stuff right there <laughs> and then uh the final price was 159 dollars and 58 cents so that's what i ended up paying uh final sale all sales are final all those different things now let's get into the shoes so starting off with the first accessory right here you have a nike gold hang tag which i did decide to add and then it comes complimentary with a second pair of laces so i just went with like a sale kind of vintage wash kind of lace to that right there to add to these but honestly i think i'm gonna just keep it clean with the all whites i don't really want to change anything up when it comes to that aspect so looking at the left shoe right here on the heel we took the bronx logo and cut the duh part off of there because it says duh bronx we cut that off and actually switched it up and added a pigeon right here in that place so you got the pigeon reading the i think it's a magazine yes yeah, so a just do it magazine or newspaper and then you got the bronx right there just behind that and then on the inside of the heel we got the harlem hit right here looking really clean i like this font a lot i think both fonts honestly look really dope and represent new york really well so this is a nice clean look on the shoe and again you guys have some detailed looks at it right there just to show you how nice it is when it comes to the print i feel like they did a really good job on this and make it look like it was already on the shoe next up right here on the right foot on the outside of the heel you have a brooklyn logo right here the font is similar to the one that you saw with the harlem right there on the inside of the left foot right there so another clean look i really like that and then you got the queens right here on the inside of the foot as well in a different font so i like how they have the different ones with the different fonts and the representation of the different boroughs in the area so for me i thought it was super dope to try to get as many areas as i could on the sneaker as they would allow me but i thought it would have been even doper if they would have let me do hits like like i said in the video just tad up the shoe like all over the toe box and different spots like this but unfortunately they didn't have the stuff to be able to do that so I understand why they couldn't do it because they wanted to make sure that it's simple and easy for everybody 
when they come in and they can just rinse and repeat for each person that's shopping with them. So honestly, I think it was a really dope experience. A nice, subtle, clean hit to the shoe. Didn't take too long. And it's a nice shoe to have in my collection for a nice ID option. So if you're ever looking for Nike by you, you can do dope things on the website as well with customizing with different colorways and different things like that. But when they have different pop-ups in different cities, they also give you these exclusive options that you can only get in that area. So to get different things like this and add it to my collection, I know it may not be like all oh, some resellable shoe or some crazy grill for everybody, but it's always nice to have a little story piece and a timestamp shoe, something like this to represent, you know, going on the trip, being on the billboard, different things like that. And honestly, I like it. So let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see any other things like this, when I go out in the wild and shoot stuff, I'll try to remember to keep the camera on so we can catch as much as I can. And if not, I'll make sure I narrate as much as I can for you guys. So I'll see you in another one. I'm out. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.